Dolphins, four and a half point underdogs on the road at San Francisco. This line has been moving. Well, it's three and a half at FanDuel. It is. Um, yeah, and I, I, I stupidly wanted to take Miami. I got sucked in on the points. Um, had a had a nice phone call after we did our live show this morning and got a lot of shit for it. Apparently, I'm an idiot. I don't know what to do here. I I, I want to make this our foxhole bet on the 49ers because the public loves Miami, and I'm apparently part of the public because I was getting sucked in. Where the 49ers, they're healthy. They're completely healthy on defense now. We've seen how their offense is dominated. And last week, they shouldn't have covered. Like, that was a really bad game by them. Do we see them laying two stinkers in a row? And I, I feel like that was a fair question that got proposed to me. That's – they're a well-coached team, this 49ers. So Miami's been on an absolute tear. But like me and Chad talked about earlier this week, who, who, earlier today, who have they played? And Chad talked about them picking them to miss the playoffs or them just not to win the division. I think that's a fair play because they beat up on bad teams these last couple of weeks. And now they're about to get in a really hard part of their schedule. And this is one of the tougher games they're going to face all year. So I, I won't lie to you people. I liked Miami coming into it. And it seems like I'm just a little too excited about a team that really hasn't proven what their worth is at this point. So um, I, I'm flip-flopping here, but I'm going to end up on 49ers in the sense that I know a really smart group who's taking a position on the 49ers at three, three and a half. Um, so it's no surprise. Like Chad said, there's a couple of books on the four and a half at this point. Some books still at three and a half. Just shop around and try to find value on this line. 